Ooh, welcome to unusual Excel formulas. In this video, we are going to look at some really crazy uses of Excel formulas. And I want you to not only just watch this, but if you have some crazy Excel formula concoctions, please share them in the comment section so we could all enjoy uh, the creative and unusual world of Excel formulas. Let's get into the file. You can download this file in the video description link below. So the very first formula that I have for you is to generate a secret code and decode that using the base and number decimal formulas. Let's say you want to send a message hello to maybe your friend or a crush or somebody else. But you just don't want to send hello, you want to send something that is a little bit quirky. Here is the numeric representation of that value, hello, in, in Excel numbers. So to get the, that to this number, you have to simply put that in decimal, uh, decimal of that value and then say 36. Why 36? Why not 27? Why not 14? Well, the reasoning here is, let's say you got a number like 10, it is uh, or let's say you have a number like 123 this is in decimal number system so we have 0 to 9 and then it rolls over to 10 which becomes 1 and 0 right so that's our decimal number system to get it into the special words we would have because english alphabet has 26 letters we we need to get it into a base 36 system which has numbers 0 to 9 and then a b c d so on and so forth until z so that's why that code 36 now when the person who gets this message if they want to decode it they just have to use base and then uh, give this number and then the radix would be 36 again and they will get the message back now keep in mind this technique is useful but it is not uh, suitable if you want to send a really long message so if you want to say uh, how do you do now that's a very big number it still works but at some point excel will break for example if i want to say a complex um, long sentence then uh, it will give you a hash number error because it's kind of gone beyond the maximum possible number that excel can get but for something short and sweet like hello or miss you you know this is good way to communicate so that's a secret code with base to convert it you would use a decimal formula and then the other person need to use base formula the second technique that i have this is a quite an unusual use it's been around for such a long time that most of the pros or existing excel users might know but it is still new for several people which is to generate charts using a wrapped formula say you got some sales information like this you can make a quick formula that generates the chart using this wrapped formula so all you have to do is say wrapped what wrapped does is it will repeat a text so we can say chandu and then five it will repeat the word chandu five times so we could use the same technique we can say wrapped get me 75 sorry get me the pipe symbol 75 times and then you will get that now this is how they normally look if you change the fonts or if you make them bold you know it will change the coloring of this one simple technique that you could do is you can select the cells with the wrapped formula and apply a font called playball this playball this is part of um, oh not playball i think it's playbill <laughs> yeah um, and and this particular font has a very close spacing between the pipe symbols so it will come up with a thick lines like that and because it's a cell with formula you can color it you can uh, apply conditional formatting on it and whatnot and it will work so that's the wrapped formula the third unusual one is between calculation with median now excel doesn't really have a between function so if we want to calculate values between let, let's say you have a value and you, you want to check whether it is between 18 and 22 so here is a simple table with some persons and their ages and we want to see whether they're allowed to apply for a particular course or not and they can only apply for a course if they are between 18 and 22 years old so how do you check that now we could write any formula like if uh, age is greater than uh, 18 greater than or equal to 18 um, and then we need to check both boundaries so we have to say and and then age 
less than or equal to 22 um, and we don't need to write any formula unless you want to print yes or no you could simply say and and that will give you a true or false condition but here is a simpler version of that you could use median function um, like this median of 19 that cell value and then boundaries that is 18 and 22 and you just check whether that median is same as this number itself so because median gets you the middle value it will be either this value or one of the other values so we will simply check whether the median is same as this and then if so we can consider that it is in between so that's how you will check this this is an excellent formula that is originally i learned it from daniel ferry of excel hero blog and uh, and I've been using this since almost 10 years now so uh, it's quite an unusual use with median and then the next one is extracting last word with filter XML now this is quite nerdy but it is also very unusual and fancy let's say you got a big sentence or a file name or something and you just want to extract the last word some big fat sentence with so many words and i want to really get that little portion from the end now if i want the words from the beginning i could use left and find to find the space and extract that but what about the last one how do we get there so to do this all we have to do is first take the sentence and convert it into xml format now this might sound fancy all you have to do is uh, use a substitute formula so take that word first prepend it with the data and a or you know it doesn't have to be data and a, it could be a and b or something like that within angular brackets and then take that sentence and every space needs to be substituted by closing of angle bracket a and opening of angle bracket a and then prepend it or uh, prefix it with uh, um, angle bracket a and angle bracket data so what this does is it'll kind of create a tree structure where the whole thing is inside data and then you have a tag for each word and then now we will use filter xml formula we feed that to filter xml and then we say get me the data a and then within closing brackets uh, of square brackets last and then it'll give you the last word if you want to get let's say the third word or sixth word you can simply put the number there like four and it'll give you the fourth word as well so that's the fourth uh, unusual formula the fifth one is quite unique as well count unique with count ifs so let's say you got some person information here as you could see some names are repeated if i want to count how many people are there we could use count a and then it will tell you that there are nine people but are there really nine people as you could see sita shona and susan have been repeated so they should not be counted twice so there are only six people and these three people have repeated so the actual count is six <laughs> so how do we get to the six well this is the basic formula you do take the count ifs but you give both count ifs same range twice and then you sum up one divided by that range to get the answer now you might be thinking you know how does this even work like what's the magic going on behind scenes uh, the way this really works is what that count ifs formula does is it counts how many times each name has appeared in the entire list so it would come up with um, an array like this count ifs we'll just put the same thing again and you'll get an array like this every person who appeared once will have one and every person who appeared twice will have twos or thrice threes right so if somebody appeared three times there will be three cells that have three in them because you know each each time the person appeared it will count and then it'll say there are three of those right so once this is done all we have to do is calculate the reciprocal of that so then it will be for a person that is appearing once it will be simply one whereas a person that is appearing twice it will be half for the first occurrence and half for the second occurrence for the person who appeared three times it will be one third one third one third like that but when you add up all these individual fractions you will come up with the total number that is equal to the number of people that are there this is actually quite a powerful and beautiful formula and it might take a while to sink in how this is working or why this is working but once you understand that you will uh, really get it you could also use this approach to really get how many people have appeared only once as well because all you have to do is from this setup 
uh, you don't even have to go that far from that setup itself you can then count how many ones are there then your job is done so because that is count ifs all you have to do is use some sort of another function like some product or sum to see how many of these results are matching with one so that's all for now these are my takes of unusual excel formulas i hope you found this particular video interesting and useful go ahead and download the file to have a play with the data and uh, in the comments please tell me what is your unusual excel formula also please subscribe and share this video with your colleagues and friends so that more people can become unusual as well as awesome in excel thank you bye bye